Welcome back, everybody, to the worst undrafted quarterback series on Madden 20, where last episode, things changed for this team in a big way, as Martin Menicle became a fantastic rookie quarterback, starting as a 49 overall, but with a great team around him, he put together easily the best season by a quarterback in this series, with 35 passing touchdowns, over 4,000 yards, turnovers weren't a problem, and he ran for a couple of scores as well. We actually have a chance to complete the whole challenge of the series with Martin Menicle as a rookie. But even if it doesn't work out that way, I still think that we now have the right quarterback. He just got so much development in one season, and he may even get a development boost at the Super Bowl week. We'll have to see. The only thing he didn't get was Rookie of the Year, and many of you pointed out that you apparently cannot win Rookie of the Year if you were an undrafted player, which is really strange. And some of you think I should just edit his ratings as if he did have Rookie of the Year. I don't think I want to do that, but still, Martin Menicle went so far as a rookie, and now he tries to take the Carolina Panthers all the way to the Super Bowl to complete the challenge of the series. We have the playoffs today, and hopefully we're watching a few different games. First up, the Detroit Lions, who only won eight games this year. We had a first round bye, this amazing offense and defense, and we get a team that couldn't win nine games as our first playoff opponent. So we've got to go out and get this victory and hopefully do so in impressive fashion. Let's see what the game day strategy is all about. What can you tell us about the Detroit Lions? They have totally shut down opposing running backs this season. A lot of teams didn't even try to run the ball against them. What else? They have a solid roster and an injury to Willis Lucas, a wide receiver. There are actually a few injuries here. Lucas has a fractured kneecap, and that's a big loss. He's an 84 overall receiver. There's also Jamar Ridgeway and Kerry Mosley, two running backs. So let's see what Detroit has for the challenge today. Their top players have a mix of offensive and defensive players, and they're pretty deep at receiver, it appears. The quarterback is Shaquille Hamlin, and he's an 84 overall with some really solid ratings here. And at running back, they have a couple injuries. So Luther Bowden will probably be the starter today at just 60 overall. The Lions are really deep at receiver though, so while they're missing Willis Lucas, they still have Ray Ferguson and Jeff Lowell, along with Matthew Crockett. So that is our challenge today. Can we defeat the Lions, move on to the next round? Of course, the entirety of our playoff run will be in this episode, so hopefully we're here for a little while. We have a couple upgrades to uh, take care of here. Samuel Matthews, who could be a starter next season, gets three awareness. We'll see if there is a next season, though. I mean, we could win the Super Bowl here, and then I could be trying to do something else here on the channel. Jaden Childress, let's go physical archetype. That one's a little bit low at 71. Get that spec catch and catching traffic up. And I realized this while editing the last episode, I forgot to go through the team stats. I checked out Menicle's numbers and then forgot about everybody else. So we've been over Menicle's success this season. Very, very impressive. For the running backs, Rashad Shear did have a better average than Joe Wise. Wise ended up with 10 touchdowns. The running game was okay. It could have been better. The efficiency is my main concern there. For the receivers, three players over 800. Garrison Lowry, 912 yards, five touchdowns. And then Bobby Brenner, 11 scores. 10 for Quinton Boone. Jaden Childress had five. Both the offense and defense had very special years. For this defense, Quinn Choice, five interceptions, three for Alejandro Martinez and Lewis Edwards. And then the leader in sacks was Rafael Shelby with nine and a half, and Ray Jean Wallace right behind him with nine. So there you have it, everybody. The stage is set for the postseason. What's in store now for the Carolina Panthers after a 13 and three season? Let's find out. As we have done before in this series, I'll be simulating most of the game going through the play-by-play, -play, 
And then if there are some key possessions, we will definitely look at watching them. I'm excited to see how this team plays though. I mean, we had a top tier offense, a top tier defense this season. So I'd expect us to be playing really well on both sides of the football. And we're off here in the postseason, everybody. Detroit starts with the football first. They get into a third and six, and we start our playoff journey with a three and out. Followed by us taking over and getting sacked. Martin Menickel then throws incomplete. Detroit's second possession isn't much better. They go three and out again. And the Panthers get Rashad Sheard for a gain of 12. Martin Menekel, come on, third and seven, 20 yards to Jaden Childress. We're just so deep at receiver, and we saw the benefits of that this season. With a uh, great offense to support a young quarterback, they can go really far in one season. We have a pretty good drive going here. It's third down, touchdown, Jaden Childress. Not too bad there as we get on the board first and force another punt. We take the ball and we are running it on this possession. Derek Smiley getting into the game for Sheard. 16 yards for Childress, Joe Wise. Hoping there's no injury for Sheard. He hasn't been out there in a while it looks like. Third down, sacked. So we go up 10-0. Detroit having a lot of issues offensively. They still have some pretty good talent there and a good quarterback, so I'm surprised they haven't done a little bit better. Third and 12, sacked again. Cortez Sharpton, is that like three sacks at this point already? I've seen his name pop up a bunch. Detroit takes over, decent field position. Third down, there's 11. And they'll make it inside the red zone. This is not good. Down to the six, touchdown Lions. Rashad Sheard is back in the game, thankfully, and he runs for a first down. Or I thought he did anyway. Another sack on Menekel, and we give a two minute drill chance now to Detroit. And they get 14 yards. Are they gonna take the lead here before half? 17 yards Crockett. Into field goal range, and another first. They did not add points, though. I'd like to watch a little bit of this offense, though. Martin Menekel, I want to see what his game is all about here. Menekel hands this one, and there's a big opening. It's Rashad Sheard for the first down. Up to 70 yards on the day. Offset backfield here for Carolina. And another run. And flag on the play. Was there a face mask there? Yes, there was. Panthers in the eye here at second down and nine. It's a fake. Manical going for it all on this one. And it is intercepted in the end zone. He went for it, trying to go up top to Garrison Lawry. But the Lions take over. Detroit started very slowly, and okay, a good three and out force, thankfully. They got seven before half, close game now, and 14 yards Bobby Brenner, we have a first down. 20 yards Garrison Lawry, inside the opposing 40, and stalling to kick a long field goal, so a six point game. 25 yards Luther Bowden. They can definitely get some big pass plays with this offense. Third down, another first down conversion. Fumble on third down, recovered by Alejandro Martinez. There we go. Let's get this up to two scores now. Alex Prather, the tackle? Is he playing tight end or something? 12 yards, Jaden Childress. Loss of three as we go on to the fourth quarter. Third and six, there we go, Sheard. Four more to Boone. Five yards, Martin Menekel. Touchdown, Sheard. It is a 12-point game. Can we hang on here in the fourth quarter? Joe Overton gets a sack. Fourth down, they punt. I didn't think they'd be punting there. 
I kind of wanted to watch a little more of the offense. Martin Menekel under center here from the 12, and it's time for another run. Sheard loses one. This was supposed to be a difficult team to run on, but Sheard's been pretty productive today. Third and seven. Menekel found Lowry! He is met at the 25, and that's a first down. A good run here, cutting off tackle. That is Rashad Sheard. It's a 100-yard day. Clock down inside five minutes. Now we're going to throw it on first down. Menekel on target for the first. Inside of four minutes to play. Menekel again on target for Quinton Boone. And the time continues to run off the clock. Play fake. Menekel across the middle and again on target. This is Garrison Lawry. So a really solid day here for Martin Menekel, 21 of 25 in his playoff debut. We're running the football well. This is the performance I wanted to see. We run. Sheard broke the first tackle, but then is brought down. What do we do here? Empty set, third down. Here's Martin Menekel, the rookie, over the middle, and Laurie taken down. Rajon Wallace gets a sack. It's third and long. Fourth down now. Oh, a penalty. That'll help him out, but they cannot convert. It looks like that is it for the divisional round. The Carolina Panthers have won. We're going to the NFC Championship. Solid win. 22-7. to We didn't see a ton from that game, but Martin Menekel, when we did get to see him, Played pretty well, and I like how the offense played overall. We had a lot of balance today, so we'll see if we can get another win now in the NFC title game. Hamlin had a tough day throwing, only 197 yards. The defense played really well, it appears. 265 yards for Menekel, two touchdowns. 110 for Sheard for a carry, love seeing that. All right, solid start. Gotta keep it going. Well, how about this, everybody? The Carolina Panthers will now play for the NFC title against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That means we're up against Ronnie Young, who is their 24-year-old quarterback. He's a superstar X-Factor, and his ratings are really solid outside of that 82 short accuracy. So Ronnie Young, Brian Lewis at running back, about receivers, Darius Reynolds, Tavares Cox. I'm guessing this offense could be a bit more of a challenge. And their defense, Eddie Taylor, defensive end, Christian Thornhill, a couple good front seven players there, Malik Beckett, Jabari Merriam at corner. All right, we got to make some plays and see if we can move on to the Super Bowl now. Only one upgrade, that's it? Rashad Sheard. All right, let's go elusive back. Overall doesn't go up. And we get ball carrier vision and spin move. All right, that ball carrier vision was a little low, but it didn't stop him from producing in that last game. So now against Tampa, let's see what this game day strategy has for us. You have some data on the box. Okay, you have some numbers, some analytics, some sabermetrics. Their defense is so good at stopping the run, it forces opposing offenses to become one-dimensional. What about this data, though? I want to know more about that. They are going to miss Norman Fusaro for this game. Oh yeah, we should definitely see their injuries. That said, he was a starting center. That is their only injury, and he's a 68 overall, so I'm not even sure if he was a starter to begin with. But either way... Time, everybody, to see if we're going to the Super Bowl today. All right, we're normally cheering for the Buccaneers on this channel, but not today. It's time for the Carolina Panthers to move on, and we would face the winner of Denver and Miami if we're able to do it. The Miami Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl, so that's what we're playing for. Let's start this one, and you know what? Maybe we'll watch the first possessions for each team and then get into our simulating. 
We didn't watch a ton of uh, previous games, so we'll get a chance to see our defense now. And we start with an incompletion here. Ronnie Young is the quarterback. He is one of the top quarterbacks in our league. So, luckily we have a very good defense, hopefully up to this challenge. Second down for Ronnie Young, setting up the screen. And he's put down for a loss by Mike Haynes. Already a third and 20. Great start, defense. Another screen. The first one works so well. This one also loses yards. Let's go. Just a 39-yard punt. An energizing start for the defense. And now Martin Menical. And the offense takes over. We are in our 22 personnel here on first and 10. Oh, I guess Alex Prather is indeed listed at third tight end. And we run it with Joe Wise. That is a loss of two. Now we're going play action. Menacle going long, and it's caught! Oh, what a catch! Garrison Lawry, 26 yards. I was sure that was going to be incomplete. Most of those diving catches aren't catches. Offset eye, first down Panthers. Another run to the outside, good block Lawry. It's a first and more, and Sheard is out of bounds at the nine. Only one receiver in the game. Toss left. Here is Sheard. And he's brought down at the two. Come on, offense. Get the six. Three down linemen here. I wouldn't mind another run. But it's a throw. Medical touchdown. Brenner on the reception. And the Panthers strike first. What a start to this game. Gotta love how we open this game, but a long way to go yet. 7-0, knocked away on third down by Martinez, and we're taking over. First and 14, we get three. Sacked now by Eddie Taylor, and that's a big response for Tampa's defense. The Bucks get very good field position, and they're basically already in field goal range, especially after that touchdown. Darius Reynolds, we're tied. So basically back to a brand new game and the Panthers get four yards with Sheard, six yards Garrison Lawry, four more on the rush by Menekel, 15 to Quinton Boone. I'm impressed with how we're moving the football here. Sack though, we kick a field goal. Tampa Bay football again and they get one first down and end up punting. Carolina, one yard sheared, third down. How about Jaden Childress? Back to midfield now. Eight yards, Lawry. Let's keep it going here. I want that two score lead. Five yards sheared, two more. Come on, another sack though. Tampa Bay is making some big plays here when we cross the 50. There's 14 more to Darius Reynolds, who has been their best playmaker, it would appear. 19 now to Deion Shade. Buccaneers trying to take the lead here before the half. Third down. Incomplete. We still have a three-point advantage. It's going to be a good game, it appears. Let's see if we add more points now before half. Martin Menekel is going to start on first down. Airing it out. What a throw. That is a big first down in the Tampa territory. Wow, he threw that one. That's a tough throw to beat that zone like that. I'm not very good at it, that's for sure. Menical first down, and he's sacked again. Tampa's been pretty good at getting some plays like that to break up our momentum. They have four sacks. 58 seconds to go. Menical short, and we'll get some of that yardage back, thankfully. Gives us a better chance, third and 12. Tampa brings four. Menical going long and wide open! Brenner to the 10! Here we go, Carolina driving. Can we score another touchdown? Menical dumps it off. Brenner, he's inside the five. Third down for Martin Menical. 
Stepping up, he's brought down on the play. Another key sack for this Buccaneers defense. We only got the one touchdown. And we go into the half. It looks like with a six point advantage. Pretty happy with that first half though. We have a lead. Third down into the second half. Bobby Brenner for another first down. 14 yards to Laurie. 16 Bobby Brenner. We're going to see a lot of passing yards it looks like for Menical today. 14 now. And then a touchdown to Laurie. Making this finally a two touchdown game. I'm impressed by this offense. I wondered if things would change a little bit when we get into games in this fashion, but we still look pretty dominant. Two sacks on that drive for Rafael Shelby. Man, if we can go up three scores, it's not going to happen here. Tampa needs points. Third quarter winding down. Brian Lewis getting seven. He's getting a lot of yards on this possession. Third and one. Incomplete. And they kick. Oh, it's blocked. There we go. Great field position now. And another sack for Tampa. We go for a third and six and end up punting it back. 29 to Brian Lewis. Why don't we watch a little bit here. Tampa Bay trying to stay in this game. They're down 14. They've got to get a touchdown here. Two receivers top of the screen. And here's the dump off and a solid gain. Third down and short for Tampa. Four on the rush. Wide open on the reception. Buccaneers now at the 36. Young out of the pocket and taken down. Rajon Wallace. A loss of three. And of course, time running off the clock. That's valuable here. Big third down again for Tampa. They spread out our defense. Bucks need eight. Ronnie Young complete. And the drive is not over. We're now inside five minutes. On first down. Oh, it's jarred loose. What a hit. Young steps up. Pressure is there and almost picked. Come on. We can seal the game with a play like that. Defense is so close to making plays. Third down and that will force fourth and six. They got to go for it. Here we go. Game potentially on the line. Ronnie Young to the end zone and they got the score. Touchdown Buccaneers who took Chris Godwin's number. Oh man, Tampa does make it a one score game. We had our shot at a takeaway too. There's not much room for error here as Carolina tries to protect their lead. Play fake, Manical with a lob into coverage. Let's not do that one right now. 4.05 to go. It would take a few first downs to really get this clock down, and we're not off to a good start. Come on, Carolina. It's third and long. Menical, can you make a play? He's going to go for it all here, and it's caught! That's going to go for a touchdown! Jaden Childress! 76 yards! Are you kidding me? That should be the game winner right there. We do not play scared here trying to protect the lead. Menical goes for the home run and he knocks it out of the park. What a fantastic moment here for Martin Menical in this series. A sack for Rajon Wallace. Not looking good for Tampa, Mike Haynes. And we take over on downs. They had it so close. They almost got the ball back. And now it's going to look more like a blowout. 38-17. I like the score. Whoa. 70-yard touchdown. But they have to get a couple onside kicks. And that's not happening. This game, everybody, has come to an end. We're going back to the Super Bowl for the second time in this series.
And we're doing it with a rookie quarterback who just made one of the best throws we've seen in a long time on this channel. To the Super Bowl we go to meet the Miami Dolphins. Martin Menekel just threw for 350 and four touchdowns in a playoff game in the NFC Championship. He cannot be stopped right now. But we have one more game to go. We're back everybody in the Super Bowl. The 12 and four Dolphins are our final opponent this season. I gotta know though, did Menekel's development go up from his great campaign? Hidden. It's not even gonna tell us, cause he's a rookie, that's right. So it's at least Star, oh, it's Star Dev, okay. So development has gone up, even if we lose the Super Bowl, Menekel has the greatest chance to have success out of the quarterbacks we've had in this series. One more upgrade here, how does that sound? Martin Menekel, Field General, 66 overall. Medium and short accuracy along with awareness. One more game is all we need. And we have a few upgrades to make here. Kenny Bruce is playing as a 90 right now. There's the agile upgrade. Bobby Brenner has meant a lot to this team the entire season. And there is a great tight end boost. Martin Sullivan. Why don't we upgrade his zone coverage a little bit? Up to a 74 overall this year, and that is a good awareness boost. The zone is still pretty low. So let's get to know the Miami Dolphins. Although there's no game day strategy here, whatever that scenario is. How am I going to know what they're good at without that? Dwayne McDonald, Jose Watson, Javante Ricks. Rashawn Bryant, Stuart McMichael. These are the Miami Dolphins with quarterback Matt Wakefield. 84 overall. Really solid accuracies here. Short is good. On the run is good. The break sack at 90 with 82 speed. Okay. How about Jose Watson then? A 94 speed. X-Factor 25-year-old running back. How do I get him on my team? Receiver is thin though. This is definitely the worst receiving core that we've seen here in the postseason. So I think today is going to be a bit more about stopping the run. And it doesn't seem like they have this great offensive line. It's decent maybe. Dwayne McDonald on defense. I like our chances here everybody. I like our team. Let's go win the whole thing. Jerry World welcomes us to the Super Bowl. Is this the finale? We've had some pretty good success in the series, and it's been a lot of fun just to see what you can do with uh, an undrafted quarterback that is super low rated. And now with Martin Menekel, we have our best quarterback, I believe. When this series began, I didn't even think it would be this big of a series. I thought maybe we'd go through a few episodes and maybe I'd find out that it really isn't all that possible to develop a quarterback, but no. We've seen it here, especially this season. With the right team, you can make it work. Even a 49 overall rookie, who is now no longer a 49 overall rookie. Menekel has grown considerably. And now he wants that Super Bowl ring. I believe we'll end up watching much more of this game. Come on, it's the Super Bowl. Carolina starts with the ball. And we're going to run this one with Sheard. As he's able to pick up four. And right away, we have an injury to Garrison Laurie. So let's see what kind of scene it gives us here. If he's going to the locker room, that's not good. He's on the sideline. I think that should be a good sign. Second down and six. Offset eye for the Panthers. Martin Menekel hands this one. Running left. Sheard is brought down. Perfect fill by that corner. Time to throw for the first time. And Menekel has it knocked down at the line. We go three and out. 
Elbow bursitis. All right, Laurie's going to be back shortly after I take this delay a game because I can't do anything else. I think I just did that bug that makes it so I can't back out of the game right away. So we're going to watch perhaps this entire game in that case. And here's Watson picking up five. I think their running game is going to be their top priority today on offense. So after a five yard gain, play action off of it. And going long to a wide open receiver, Miami across midfield. Promising start here for the Dolphins, and another catch, and another first down. Third down for Miami, looking for three, and off the mark toward the boundary. So a good start for the Dolphins, but they'll have to kick. Good start for the Dolphins. We'll see how we respond now as we have the ball at our 28-yard line. Garrison Lawry back on the field, thankfully. And here's Menekul off the mark. To the air once more. Now on second down, a lot of time for Menekul. And open with running room, Garrison Lawry for 12. On second and 12, Menekul again finds Lawry and gets six yards. Let's keep the drive going here. Menacle open, and that's another first down. Caught by Jaden Childress. On second down, Menacle gets time. He's going long with this one, and again he's off the mark. We've seen a couple misses already. Okay, I literally couldn't call this play because I had to sneeze, but how is that not a catch? Wait a minute. I thought Menekul found him and he got his feet down. I guess not. We're punting. Well, that's a break for Miami then. Still in the first quarter, 3-0. Dolphins run and lose two. From the goal line, a short throw, and they get beyond the 10. I thought, ball spotted at the 9 apparently. Dolphins go trips to the top of the screen. Here's Wakefield, he's got time, settles underneath, and the Panthers make the tackle. Good drive. All right, let's see if Martin Menekul can get a bit more comfortable here. He missed a few throws on that last drive. So hopefully we can have a good one with this great field position. Down 3-0 here in the Super Bowl. Play action. Medical going downfield. Bobby Brenner. He's brought out of bounds at the 24. To the I formation now after that good throw. And Joe Wise showing a little power here getting three. Another run. And a jump cut here from Sheard as he gets us four more. Third down, we run it with Wise, and he picks it up. Third down, do we tie it, or can we take the lead? Short motion here from Garrison Lawry. Menical with time, behind his target and incomplete. Tried to find Quinton Boone. We're all tied up now, and Miami looks to respond. A good start to this possession as Wakefield's now 6 of 7 passing. Nobody with the advantage through one quarter. Off play action, Wakefield again has an open man. There have been some huge holes in this coverage. Ball at the 27 as they try another run, and Watson hasn't gotten much going. It actually has been about this Miami passing game, which has been better than I expected. Mostly because of their success off play action. Throwing it quick here on third down, and the Panthers make the play. Oh, we almost blocked the kick! Come on! 
Dolphins lead once again as we take over, and that's a solid run to start things for Sheard. So far, it looks like a more even game than I expected. I thought we would be looking like the better team early on, but Miami's holding their own, and they're impressing me with their offense. There's a good first down, though, a good sequence for Sheard. Play action now, and the pressure! Oh, man! Menacle goes down. It's Bryant. Some major struggles on this possession. Carolina, third and 21. Just trying to get what we can here, and a good effort by Sheard. What a fantastic punt, though. We do pin Miami deep. And we'll see if our defense can get us a stop and some good field position. 5.49 to play here in the first half. Ball at the four. They're going to throw it and get nowhere. There's a jet sweep and getting to the outside. That's close to a first down for Watts. Miami needs two more. They'll try to run this and Watson will not get there. Great start for this rush defense. They have definitely made a big difference. Imagine if this team, that's more of a running team, could actually run in addition to what they've done throwing the ball already. 6-3. And we're getting the football back. Menacle's going to hand this one and sheared all the way to the edge. Makes another move and falls ahead to midfield. First down, Carolina. The offense has been a little underwhelming here. Menacle definitely seemed to play better in the NFC Championship. Hopefully we can get him comfortable. Here is Sheard again to the outside. Brought down. Inside of Miami territory, here's third and six. Motion from Garrison Laurie. Menacle stepping up and open. There we go. That's a catch for Jaden Childress. Two minutes to go in the half. Only 26 yards from the end zone. And we do avoid a sack there to get two yards. On second down. Going long with this throw. And another big catch made by Bobby Brenner. We're inside the five. Can we score the game's first touchdown right here? Clock down to a minute 30. We run it. Joe Wise spun down. Back to the air, it's a quick one, four, six, touchdown, Jaden Childress. How good has he been here in the playoffs? Panthers take the lead. We scored pretty quickly there. Hopefully Miami doesn't actually respond here with their time remaining. There's a big miss. 61 seconds to play here in the second quarter. They're setting up the screen. And good pursuit, but we can't make the tackle. Ooh, that juke may have cost him. 54 seconds to go. Third and one here for Miami. They're going to throw it and pick up the first down. Again looking for a quick pass and another catch to keep this drive moving. But only one timeout left, so time is not on their side. Still about 15 yards from field goal range. Wakefield, airs it out and found his man. Down to the 28. Now we see how they manage this, and they'll probably use their timeout. Kick the field goal. So this has been a much better game for us than our first Super Bowl against Baltimore many years ago. Miami with the field goal. They make it 10 to 9. The Super Bowl continues into half number two, and the Dolphins will start with the ball and a first down catch. Second down, and the throw goes outside. That was close. Dolphins get a couple more yards. On third down, Wakefield found his target. Down to the 30 with this catch. Miami on the move again. But can they get their first touchdown? It's hard to win, only scoring field goals. Check, 
Oh, that's a fumble! And Wakefield's able to recover it! They tried to throw a quick bubble screen. We were all over it. And we nearly took over. Second and 19. Now it's a screen. And Watson is not able to make anybody miss. Third and 17. Wakefield able to get the first down pass. Down inside the 10. That's a huge mistake by the defense. And now Miami, good chance to get their first touchdown. Wakefield, first down. It's tipped and intercepted. We got one to go our way. Lee Reese picks it off. Let's go. That's the big play we needed right there. We had to get something to really go our way. What a turn of events here to start the second half, but we've got to get some breathing room now, and this gets us a little bit. Looks like another run and a decent fullback dive. Gain of four. Third and five. Medical from the end zone will connect with Sheard, and this drive continues. New set of downs for Carolina with a one-point lead. Menekul settles, taking what the defense gives him for a gain of six. Third down again here for Carolina. And Menekul is on target. That's Quinton Boone on the reception. This has turned into a massive swing here in the second half with that turnover and a solid drive being put together. Menical again for Boone, chains move. Full house pistol look now for the Panthers and an inside run. We just can't get that going. We've been pretty one dimensional. We're trying, but Sheard just can't find much space. Third down for Martin Menicle. He gets time, and again, it's Boone. Three times outside the numbers on this drive. They connect. Third and 12. Do we go to Boone again? Menicle going short, and Sheard is brought down shy of the 40, and he's hurt on the play. Not a good sight here as he's being checked out by the trainers, and we indeed are punting. So all that really happened here was a lot of time went off the clock, but we still only have this one-point lead. Dolphins start at the two. They're going with play action to start things. Wakefield waits too long, and it's a safety! Finally, this lead increases. How about that? A great punt sets us up for more points. That could be a huge deal here if we can capitalize with a touchdown. Panthers up three. If we make this a two-score game, that might be just enough. Miami has no touchdowns. They came close, but time is running out. A minute and four seconds to go. Three receivers to start this drive, and we run. This is Derek Smiley as he hangs on to the football. A second straight carry. Big opening for Derek Smiley. First down. Another run, and Smiley is able to get five more to end the quarter. If we can suddenly run the football, it could be a wrap. Here is Menical stepping up, and the pressure forces him to take off, and I think he may have gotten it. Heads up play. A fake now. Menical going deep again! He got it! Lowry! Down to the four! Another aggressive shot from Martin Menical, and it pays off. 45 yards. Now can we get into the end zone? I formation behind Menical and Wise is stopped for a big loss. This is a really key sequence. A field goal is not enough. 
Here's a good run, and Smiley falls ahead to the one. All right, who's going to get this last yard? We've got to get this into the end zone. Menacle, he's going to hand it, and we're down at the one again with Sheard. Fourth down, Carolina. It looks like we're going to be kicking. The lead is now 15 to 9. We still can't let Miami score a touchdown. Back to throw on first down. They start this drive with a gain of 10. A run now, trying to get Watson going, but he has had a really quiet day. Just 10 yards total rushing. Wakefield, first and 10, steps up, and now we got some pressure. He's sacked for a loss, and Joe Overton will get some credit. Miami goes spread. They've gotten some big pass plays today. They don't go for one here, though, settling for a gain of seven. Huge third down. Miami needs the 45. Going short, tackle made in the open field, and the Panthers should get this ball back. The Panthers take over, and now we see if we can score more, and how much time we can take off the clock. We can essentially win the game on this possession. Five and change to go, second down, Menacle fakes. Menacle throws across the middle, and Garrison Laurie makes his way to midfield. That'll take us inside five minutes. Off play action. Menacle spins. Menacle pressured, and the Dolphins get to him. Loss of four. A second and 15 for Menacle. It's up high, and it's pulled down. Garrison Laurie again. When he gets the football thrown his way, you can tell he's special. Third down and one as Laurie goes over the century mark. Will throw for it, and got it again! It's Boone to the 25! We are in field goal range, everybody, and three and a half to go. We are so close right now. Back to the running game, and we just gotta protect the football. There's some bonus yards, face mask on Miami. 3.06 to play. We're going to throw it again. A quick one. And now we have it at the five. The next play should take us to the warning if it's not in the end zone. A run inside. And that should be a first down for Rashad Sheard. Come on, one more score, and let's celebrate. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. We're going to lose a bunch there. We may have to throw for this. We'll try again. Oh, come on, we lose more. These plays with the goal line defense are just impossible sometimes. So here is third and goal. I wouldn't mind a run here. Three points is all we really need to get. And we're going to run it for the touchdown! I think it's time, everybody. The celebration can begin for the Carolina Panthers. Miami has only one timeout as Rashad Sheard puts us up multiple scores. And we're going for two. It looks like it's finally going to happen in this series. Martin Menacle, one more time! Two point try, good! Bobby Brenner. Unless Miami can pull off the impossible, this game is over. What a team, and what a season. 23 9 Carolina. Miami with a minute 47 left to go. Wakefield finds his man, gets a block, and now room to run! Inside the 30! And Miami's going to have it 24 yards away from the end zone. Miami on the move, but time running out. 40 seconds left. Wakefield pressured. He's going to be sacked. Raphael Shelby. And now we're down to 20 seconds. Well, everybody, it's fourth and 20. 
Wakefield to the end zone and it's picked off. We're going to get one more. Come on. No, the tackle's made. Derek Conway on the interception. And we're one kneel down away, everybody. How do you like that? Martin Menicle, as a rookie, is now Super Bowl champion. We've done it. We have successfully won the Super Bowl with the worst undrafted free agent quarterback. And we did it in his rookie season. This was not a 10-year development. No, the roster developed for a long time. And then we added the right quarterback. He had an amazing season. And now it's been shown it can be done. We have accomplished the goal of this series. What a way to do it, too. For MVP here, I'd be tempted to go Garrison Laurie with his big plays. But it goes to Martin Menicle, Super Bowl MVP as a rookie. He was a 49 overall quarterback. Well, that's one of the most amazing things I believe I've seen in Madden. There you go, everybody. A Super Bowl title. One of the most unique ones I've won in the game of Madden. That was fun. We watched essentially the entire game. Menicle had some misses early on, but played pretty well after the first quarter. And we made some big plays in the passing game, and this was just such a wild run to the Super Bowl for this team. I can't believe it. This was a fun series to experiment with, and it was totally worth it. Oh look, Menicle has earned another upgrade. Why not? Let's give him the field general boost. But it looks like this series is coming to an end. It was uh, a fun time building up this roster and one that could support a quarterback starting with such low ratings. It definitely did not take the route I expected, but I think that's the fun of it, seeing where it ends up and the route it takes. Martin Menicle gets the job done. And maybe next time I'll do one more wrap-up episode and we'll do some sort of a long-term sim. I'll stop controlling the team, but we'll see what Menicle's career turns into. Let me know what you'd like to see if I do one more video for this series. But it looks like we are finished here and we can look ahead to what else is possible here in the world of Madden. Thank you all for your support in this series. The response to it was beyond what I expected. Thank you for that. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you with probably one more video in the series, and then we'll find something new in Madden. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all again soon.